Now, before we move ahead, we just launched the TCS NQT course, which has 175 plus hours of course content. It completes the whole syllabus for the foundational section and also the advanced coding section. The best part is we've also partnered with TCS Ion, so you'll get one certification from TCS Ion in the skill of your choice and also certifications from Prepinsta as well. The TCS NQT course is also included in the Prepinsta Prime subscription in which you get 150 plus other courses like C, C++, Java, Python, data structures, competitive coding, skills like artificial intelligence, machine learning. Pretty amazing. Uh, the link is in the description of the video. I recommend you to check out. You'll surely love it. Hey, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to TCS NQT Advanced Quantity Ability Question Hub. So in this video, we are going to discuss about all the advanced level questions based on quantity ability of this TCS 2020. So just look into the first thing that is top three commenters on the video to get freely access to our Previnsta Prime. So I will let you know what is the Previnsta Prime and how we are providing the best courses for the students and everything in between the video. So Try to comment on this video and we'll pick the top three commenters and we will freely give the access to them. And when coming to the thing, the recent time a lot of companies are hiring soon. So already teachers have started. So I'll always suggest you guys be in our Instagram handle so that you can able to get the immediate notification of any company's hiring or notifications immediately. So if you are a 2023 batch, we have a specific page for 2023 and a specific page for 2022. And 2024, based on your download batch, please go to that particular Instagram handle so that you will get the specific notifications only, not generalized notification. And if you want to contact us and ask your doubts and clear your all the doubts you have in your mind, you always reach to our social media handles like Discord, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram. We are always here to help you guys. So don't miss this opportunity. And without any further delay, let's get started with quick question and answer of advanced quantity ability. So here's the first question. Just look at here. The average weight of some students in class is 62 kgs. If eight students of average weight, 55 kgs leave the class, and 13 students of average weight, 65 kgs join the class, the average weight of the remaining students in the class is 63.9 kgs. The number of students in the class initially works. So just to get here, guys, the problem may look like little lengthy, but if you go through the regular process, it will take more than one and a half minutes. But I will teach you how smartly we can do this problem. So just look at here, for example, I am assuming X students or X people initially there in the school and with the average weight of 62 kgs, they have given. And if eight students of average weight, so eight students of average weight, 55 kgs left. And 13 students of average weight, 65 kgs was joined, right? Or added to the group. Join and these are left. The average become. So for example, see eight people left and 13 people joined. What is the balance? Or what are the remaining people? Which is nothing but we can simply say plus five people who are left in the class. So that the average becomes 63.5. If you are doing like this, for example, in a generalized average concept, we will do 62 into x, 62 x, and we will subtract 8 into 55 and add 13 into 65. Again, whole divided by x plus 5, and we will make it equal to 63.5. It's a huge qualification part, right? So you don't have to do this type of regular conventional methods. I will teach you the best methods as we teach in the prime. So look into this. X people average is 62. Simple. And eight people left the group with 55 kgs. So they are leaving with less weight when compared to the original weight, right? So they are giving some weight to the remaining group. So how much they are giving the remaining weight, which is nothing but eight people, and they are giving back 62 minus 55. The answer is seven. So total. 56 kgs they are leaving for the group, right? This is total weight. Don't make it as an average. You say total weight they are leaving for the group. And 13 people are joining. And 13 people are coming into the group. If it is 62, it won't change or it won't reflect the average. But they are coming with extra weight, right? How much they are getting extra weight? Again, 62 into 55 comparison. 
62 and 65 comparison is 3 is the difference. So 3 is added to the group. And total 13 people has given that. So total 13 into 3, 90 plus, uh, sorry, 30 plus uh, 9, 13. 3 into 13, 39 simply. I thought it was 9. So simply 3 into 13, it's 39. So the total weight is given to the group initially, right? So what is the total weight they are providing for the group? 56 plus 39, which is nothing but if you add this to 5, 9. So answer is 95 kgs. So total 95 kgs is given to the group. And see, 62 plus this 95 is given to this group, right? And how the average becomes 63.5. So 62 becomes 63.5 means it is increased by 1.5, right? So each person has taken 1.5 from, 1 from 95. So all you need to do is simply the best shortcut I am telling you now is 95 cases we have left. How you will make it 1.5? So which number you have to divide? So 95 by 1.5 will be the number of students as divided this 95 into 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. So 95 by 1.5, exactly it will cancel 50 times. So the total number of students is 50 minutes. So here x plus 5 is 15. But we want initial number of people, which is nothing but minus 5 we have to do. So answer is 45. Option A is that. See, here there is a very less qualification part. But all you need to understand is the conceptual approach. This will comes by the practice of theoretical videos and a lot of okay. Just look into the next question based on the work. So just look at it. Ramesh can complete a work in 20 days. Mohan is 66.67 percentage, 66.67 percent is nothing but 16. So it's 2 by 3. 16.66 is nothing but 1 by 6. So 66 is nothing but 2 by 3. Efficiency as so whenever the percentage is given, try try to immediately convert into fraction so that you can easily get down. Mohan and Ramesh work together. Ramesh leaves after working for some days. The remaining work is done by Mohan in 10 days. How many days did Ramesh leave the work? Okay, just look at here, guys. First, Ramesh is 20 days. And what is the number of days taken by the Mohan? Very simple. If efficiency is 2 by 3, the time taken will be reciprocal of it. Why? Because time taken and efficiency always be reciprocal to each other. So, two thirds of efficiency is there means he is taking 3 by 2 of the time. So, initially Ramesh is taking 20 days. So, Mohan will take 3 by 2 times of it. So, 2 will cancel this 10 times. Answer is 30. So, Mohan is doing in 30 days. Ramesh is doing in 20 days. Simple. And if you observe, Mohan is worked for last 10 days. So the last 10 days work is completed by Mohan alone. So if Mohan alone completes the work in 30 days means in 10 days, he will complete one third of the work only. Why? Because I can write this three times, right? So one 10 days work is completed means he has completed one third of the work. Simple logic. So one third of the work is completed by Mohan means Ramesh and Mohan together complete how much of work? In the previous days, which is nothing but 2 by 3. So, 2 people are working and 2 days we know. So, what is the formula? Simply A into B divided by A plus B into work left, which is nothing but 2 third work. So, simply do the calculation. A into B is nothing but number of days taken by 2 persons. So, 20 into 30 divided by 20 plus 30 is 50 into the work left is 2 by 3. See how simply we are doing even the problem is too lengthy and logically twisted between the person. So simply 0, 0 got cancelled, 5 will cancel this 4 times, 3, 3 got cancelled, 4, 2 are 8. So 8 days, they work together. So can I say after 8 days Ramesh left? Simple logic, right? So after 8 days, the Ramesh left the work and last 10 days, Mohan is completed the remaining work. And just look into the next question. A sum of a sum when blended 15% per annum 
simple interest per hectare amounts to 17,600 rupees. And the same sum was lent at a rate of 18% per annum. The simple interest per X plus 2.5 years, it amounts to 24,320. What is the value of X and sum respectively? So this problem is depends on simple interest and compound interest rated problems. But again, I'm telling you this guys, whenever you have to find more than one variable in simple interest or compound interest, our students will know in, in theories, we have already discussed these type of models. So whenever you have seen more than one variable, the best method to qualify or to do any problem is option elimination. Rather than doing a huge qualification procedure oriented, it's better to eliminate the options easily. So just look at here, 15% is the interest. For example, I am taking the initial one, 2.5 years as the X and the capital sum or capital amount as 12,500. Will I reach 17,600 rupees or not? Simple logical approach. So just look at here, option A I'm doing now, 2.5 years is the time period. Rate of interest is 15%, so 15 by 100 into the amount is 2500. And after that, this is a total simple interest. Why? Because simple interest equal to PTR by 100, right? P is equal to 12,500 according to the first option. P is the time period 2.5. R is the rate of interest 15 by 100. Next, we have to add to the 12,500 to get the amount. Amount is nothing but capital plus simple interest. That's it. Will it be equal to 17,600? Will it equal? This is your answer, or else you have to wait for the remaining option. Just look at here. Zeros got cancelled. And if you observe, guys, here 0 0.5, here 5, here 5. So all the unit digits are 5. If you multiply odd numbers, it will never produce the zeros. So 2.5 remains 0 0.5 at the end, right? So your answer will always end with some 0.5, something like that. So you are not getting an integer value. But here we need to produce an integer value so that we can do qualification also by using our number system concept like unit digit concept and digital sum. You can easily qualify the answer. This is not your answer. Option B. If you get the answer in the first option itself, don't do it for remaining. This will improve your confidence. By practicing, you will get this confidence. So don't do multiple options. Whenever you got the answer, stop it and continue the next question. Just look at the option B. 2.5 into 15 by 100 into 128.00 plus 128.00. This is simple interest. This is the thing. I will cancel this. But here 2.5 is there, but here even number is there. So it will produce the integer value. And here Franklin is saying multiply. And the answer is actually 17600 here. If you want to call it, you can call it. Right? Or 2.5 is nothing but simply we can say it is 10 by 20% is nothing but 1 by 4, right? So 2.5% will be 4 by 1 by 40, like that. So, or you can say like 25 by 10, it will be like 5 by 2. So, 2 will cancel this. Just 5 into 15, and next remainder you have to multiply and you will come up with a 76. But here we will teach our students as this is some concept. We won't use them to qualify the huge answers. We will always say them do the digital sum concept. Here, digital sum is 2, and here, digital sum is also 2. Here, digital sum is 6. Here, digital sum is 7. And we will multiply this is 12, which is nothing but again 3, 21, again 3. 3 plus 2, 5. So here, if you see the digital sum of the 176, if you add 7 plus 7, 14, 14 is nothing but 5. So on the left hand side, digit sum is 5. On the right hand side is digital sum 5. Then the answer is exactly correct. So even we won't find 17600, we will find digital sum concept. See, this is how we can easily clear the advanced quantity ability section without any huge qualifications. That's why we included all these techniques and tricks in the speed maths of our practice. Okay, so I have found in that I don't have to verify the remaining. Even I don't have to look for the remaining problem. It's already done.
just look into the next question a divided sum a divided money between two sons b and c the amount of the money received by b after 13 years is equal to the amount received by c in 15 years at the rate of 4% per annum compound interest the difference between their shares is 1 or 2 find the amount in the total even the compound interest for 2 years 4 years is a huge complex problem but here the compound interest is given for 13 years 15 years and students will lose their hope to do this type of problem but we can do it in a smart way just look at here the actual concept here hides between the amount is equal so for example after 10 years the compound interest will be p into 1 by p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n right so i am assuming that the money given to b is b into 1 plus r by 100 whole power 13 right? because 13 years and the rate of interest is constant for the both of the people that is 4 so r is 4 which is equal to so this amount is equal to the amount given to c which is nothing but 1 plus 4 by 100 whole power how many years 15 years both are equal means c the same terms will cancel for two times so b is equal to c into 1 plus 1 plus 4 by 100 we can write it as 104 by 100 whole square right and another thing is given that the difference between their shares which is nothing but initial share for b is b and c is c so difference between their shares is 102 rupees we have a two equations we have two variables we can easily solve but even here also i will explain how to do these problems so much easily just look at here substitute b as c so which is nothing but c into 100 into 100 104 square it's not a difficult one 104 square is damn easy if you know the speed math techniques 104 into 104 i will tell you the shortcut also 104 plus add 4 answer is 108 4 4 is 16 so 10816 is the answer. Simple logic is equal to 102 minus C. So huh, divide by 100, divide by 100, divide by 10,000, it will remove the decimal two words left by four places, right? So I can say 1.0816C minus C is equal to 102. And C into, if this one will cancel the C, the answer is. 0 0.0816 is equal to 102. So C is equal to 102 divided by 0 0.0816 and it will cancel exactly 1250 times. So that C is 12, 1250, C will be 102 plus 1250, right? So the answer is uh, 1370. My bad. Uh, one, three, five, two. Why? Right? Because it's a unit digit, not twenties. So I wrongly added like one zero two zero. So answer is thirteen hundred and fifty two. Option D is correct. So this is how you can use the advanced speed mass technique to crack this advanced quantity ability problem. I hope everyone understanding. If you have any doubts, please reach out to the comment section and post your for this, we will definitely reach out to you. And again, I'm telling you, top three commenters will definitely get the business account for free. And if you want to know about all the courses, I can show you also. Here we have a specific courses for C quantity aptitude. In this quantity aptitude, you can cover foundation section aptitude as well as advanced section aptitude, so that you can enlarge your skills to crack the TCS digital, and you can make an option like buffer for TCS ninja role. So practice well the TCS digital row. Next question so that you guys can practice more, which is nothing but the question is given as B is one by four times more than the age of A. Okay, whenever we have this type of five to four lines of information, I'll always say guys, quickly convert the question to equations and you will get the answers easily. Just write a short notes of rough work. It won't, it will give you the time saving. Because you don't have to again and again read the data. Right? So I am using simple. 1 by 4 times more than. More than means what? Extra, right? So B is equal to 
a plus 1 by 4 a which is equal to 5 by 4 a. So if a is a itself, b is equal to 5 by 4 of a. So a comma b is equal to 5 by 4 of a. This is the information I got. The sum of the ages of b and c was 50 years. Five years ago, their ages is 50 years. Five years ago. Then present will be how much? B also got increased by five years. C also got increased by five years. So presently, B plus C is equal to 60. This is how you have to think and immediately write the rough work. Next, the average age of A and B at the present is 22.5 years. So at present, A plus B is 22.5. And we know B is equal to 5 by 4 A, right? So A plus 5 by 4 A is equal to 22.5. This is an average, right? So sum will be into 2. So 22.5 into 2 is nothing but 45. So 5 by 4 A plus A is nothing but 9 by 4 A. 9 will cancel this 5 times. So A is equal to 20. If A is equal to 20, then B equal to how much? 5 by 4 times, right? So into 25 is nothing but 25. There you go. 5 times 100 divided by 4 is 25. And if you know B, C is equal to 60 minus 25, answer is 35. So A, B, C, A just got it. So that's why I told you, whenever you have a scope, just calculate them. After six years, the age of B will be 1 by 50, more than the C's present age. C present age is 35. B will be 1 by 6, sorry, 1 by 5th more, right? 1 by 5th of 35 plus 35. So answer is 7. So D is equal to 42. But here, after six years, so before six years, minus six, we have to do, that's it. So, B age is 36. So, we got A, B, C, D, and what we have to do? We need to see. Find the ratio of sum of present days of B, C to the A and D. So, we have to find the ratio. So, add B and C ages. B is 25 and C is 35, so total 60. And A is 20, B is 36, total 56. And we can cancel 4 here, 1 time, 5 times, 15, 4 here, 1 time, and the remainder 16, 4 times. 15 into 14 is a co prime. So, 15 is to 14 is our required answer. So, based on the question, you need to quickly convert the logic, whether you have to go for the immediate short notes, or sometimes you have to wait for the end options, or sometimes you need to create beautiful equations it all comes by so practice more to get these type of ideas study the given information and answer the question in a company there are 1300 employees the company has five departments hr finance marketing administration and manufacturing so when have this type of huge data in the advanced quantity ability Always try to create the table quickly as much as you can. So in the data interpretation, we have a different models, right? So this is the one kind of data interpretation related problem I have taken. So immediately start doing this type of things. It's nothing but HR and finance. So I'm writing in a short note. And next one is marketing, marketing. And next one is administration. And next one is manufacturing. And in this, I'm just removing these lines. I'm just doing the hyphens. Why? Because we don't have that much space. And we have out of total female employees 32. Ah, yeah. If you see, male female category is given. So let's do like this create a male column and a female column so that we can create the table easily. So out of the female employees, 32% work in HR, 20% work in finance, and 18% working in marketing department, and the remaining 180 female employees are working in administration. So administration female employees are 180. And the remaining three is given, what about last one? There are no female employees in the manufacturing department. So there is no female employees. So all the remaining 3% is given. Just look at here, guys. Female is always 100%. Out of which 32%, 20%, and 18% are over, for example, 18 plus 32 here, 50, 50 plus 20, 70. 70% 70 completed, 
that means the remaining 180 will be 30 percent right then what is 32 percent then what is 20 percent in finance and what is 180 percent so 18 percent so 30 percent is 180 means i am writing here 10 percent is 60 so 10 percent 60. so 10 percent 60 means 100 percent will be 600 so total number of female employees are 600 so if female employees is 600 the male employees is remaining number which is nothing but 700 so what is 20 percent 10 percent is 60 20 percent will be 120 18 percent and 13 32 percent we have to calculate so 10 percent is 60 means three times 180 plus two percent will be 1 percent 60 120 so answer is here 192 why because 12 numbers and 18 percent will be 20% 120 minus 12, the answer is simply 104. Sorry, 16, I have to do. So 104. Or simply we can say 6 into 18, 60 plus 48, 104. Anything is same. So you need to be a little cricket percentage or short. Okay, female employees were short. So the information is completed. Let's look into the second one that is male employees category. 15% working in HR, 27% working in marketing, and 25% working in department of and 20% working in administration, and the remaining male members are working in manufacturing. So we already know male members are 700 people. So what is 15%? 10% is 70, 15% will be 35, 35 percent will be 35, so answer is 105. Next, so quickly here, they're testing your percentage qualification skills. So next 20% is easy, so I'm writing it first, administration. Administration 20% means 140. And 25 percent, one fourth, so 700 divided by four, it will cancel here. One time remainder is 40, so seven times, and remainder seven, so 175. 27 percent, so now remember 27 into seven, right? Factors and zeros will cancel. So 70 plus 49, answer is 189. And remaining last people will be 91. Uh, after I have calculated earlier, so don't want to waste my time. So that's why. So if you add all these things, it will become 700. So just look into the question what they're asking for. If the number of female employees in HR department increased by 25%, so HR department, HR department is first one 25% increase. What is 25% of 192? You can say 192 divided by 4. Why? Because 25% is nothing but 14. So 1 fourth increased. Okay. So plus next the number of female employees in the finance department is increased by 15 percent finance is nothing but 120 so 120 divided by 100 into 15 and 48 female employees left the administration department so minus one sorry minus 40 so four will cancel this four fours are 16 32 is nothing but eight so 48 added in hr 48 left in administration so we don't have to do anything. So the remaining female employees in the company will be increased by. So what is the 15% of 120? 10% is 12, 5% is half of it 6. So answer is 18. So finally, 18 people of female employees got increased in that company. So here, the gap is very huge, but actual intention of this problem is to how quick you are at percentages. So that's why percentage sticks are very important in the field. And just look into the next question. A fruit seller sells grains at 20% profit. At the same time, he uses a false weight, which is 10% less than the actual weight. What will be his total gain percentage? Okay, let's simply crack this down by using logical approach. I am not using any shortcuts even. Why? Because we have a bunch of shortcuts for these type of problems. And we can say risk profit and we will get 33.33 percentage. I know. Let's explain in a regular way also, you can easily do this in a logical approach. I am assuming that there are 100 rupees grapes with 100 rupees, sorry, 100 grams. So he is using 20% profit. So he is selling 100 grams at 120 rupees. But instead of that, he is using false weight also. So instead of 100 grams, he is reduced by 10% means the remaining will be 90%. So instead of 100 grams, he's selling only 90 grams by using false weight. So, 
If this remains constant 120 rupees, but he is selling only 90 grams of grapes. And 100 grams grape is original cost price is 100 means 90 grams will be 90 rupees. So 90 rupees worth grapes are selling at 120 rupees. So 30 rupees is the gain by the seller. And the original cost which he is uh, managing with is 90 rupees only, right? So the base value is always 90 into 100 percent. Zero zero got cancelled. This will cancel with three times. One by three is nothing but 3.33 percent. So you don't have to use any huge qualifications by considering x values, y values like that. You can go with the logical approach also. You can use shortcuts also. Simply I will say 20 percent is nothing but 1 by 5, 10 is nothing but 1 by 10. And by using simple logic, we have to do minus 2. So 1 by 5 minus 2 is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is nothing but 33.33. If you want to know all the shortcuts, I'll always prefer go to the Prepenster Prime and go to the theory video so that you can able to understand each and every step we are using in a short way. Okay, just look into the next question based on the. Okay, an express train is 150 meters long. And it's running at a speed of 90 km per hour. And it crosses the mail train, which is running on a parallel track opposite direction in 6.3 seconds. So whenever you have seen seconds and hours categories, always convert speed into the kilometer per hour to meter per second so that you will get the easy answer. So kilometer per hour 90 meter per second will be 5 by 18. 18 will cancel this 5 times, so 25 meter per second speed of the express train. When these two trains are traveling on a parallel track, see opposite track, in parallel track opposite means speeds will be added. Opposite means they will move very quickly and they will cross quickly, right? But when they are moving parallelly, they will overtake slowly, right? You can feel the real time traveling experience also. So same direction means the speeds will be subtracted with the same speeds of as before. They take 50.4 seconds. See, earlier it was taking 6 seconds, now it is around 50 seconds to cross each other. The length in the meters of the male trains. Okay, just look at here, guys. What is the formula for two objects running in the same track or parallel track in the same direction or opposite direction? The formula is same, that is. L2 plus L2 is equal to sum into S1 plus or minus S2. The plus and minus will vary based on the direction of the train. So here, well, first train length is 150, second line length is we have to find and the time we know 6.3 one side and 50.4 another side. So we'll use this formula. So in the both the cases, the total distance is nothing but the sum of the length of the trains, right? It is constant. So I can say T into S1 plus S2 is equal to T into S, S1 minus S2. Why? Because here the distance traveled in the first case is same as the distance traveled in the second case. But times are different, right? So the time taken when their opposite direction is nothing but 6.3. And S1 is the speed of the first train is 25 meter per second. Plus S2 we need to find. And T2 is nothing but 50.4, the second case. But here the trains are in the same direction means minus. So 25 minus S2. And if you see decimal to what removed, and 5 plus 4, 9, 6 plus 3, 9. So 9 will cancel this 7 times, 9 will cancel this 4 times, and this is 2 times. Sorry, this is 54. So it will cancel 8, 40, sorry. Five times and remain to 64. This is four, six times. Sorry, it's my bad. I have written four, that's why I got a little confused. So nine will cancel this five times, which is not even 45. Remainder is 54. 54 means six times. So seven will cancel this eight times. So answer is 25 plus S2 is equal to 8 into 25 minus 8 into S2. 8 S2 on the other side will become 9 S2 is equal to 125 will cancel this. So 7 into 25. So S2 is equal to 7 into 25 divided by 9. So don't simplify it as of now. Make it like that. And we know S2 and what is the distances simply and taking the first case, for example. 
which is nothing but here we can say like okay i have not written the equation for you guys i will write here now in the first case it is 150 plus l2 is equal to 50.4 into 25 minus s2 the second case is 150 plus l2 is equal to 6.3 into 25 plus s2 i am taking this first case i am doing a problem 150 plus l2 we have to find i know 50.4 is given now 25 minus what is this value which is nothing but 7 into 25 by 9 and if you see 9 into 25 minus 7 into 25 it will be 2 into 25 divided by 9 into 50.4 9 will cancel this how many times simply it will be again the same which is nothing but as we done here 0.6 and i am writing 56 by 10 and 5 will cancel this two times two will cancel this five times 5 into 56 is nothing but even 5 into 56 i will do it in a smart way which is nothing but 10 by 2 this will cancel 28 times so 280 so 150 went to other side l2 will become 280 minus 150 so l2 is equal to 130 so the length of the train is 130 meters of a mail train so here the all the equations you need to know earlier i can't explain everything from scratch so that's why done it little quick and come back to the total explanation just look into the next question what is the market price of an article so there two statements is given and when are the options is having sufficiency you have to know how to do it right? so can you find market price or not based on these two statements just look at here the selling price after giving 25% discount the market price is 600 see guys the selling price after giving 25% discount on the market price is 600 market price is given and you have to give 25% discount and you will get the selling price right here you don't have to find the selling price or the price of an article okay so here after giving 25% discount on the market price you got 600 so here sp selling price is 600 which is 75% why because 25% discount already given so can you find market price yes you can find you don't have to find you can find or not tell me yes you can find so option but statement one is sufficient to answer you don't have to find out next if the article sold on the market price then the profit earned on the market price should be either 60% or 300 see the profit was sold on a market price then profit earned on a cost price would be either 60% or 300 Profit sixty percent is three hundred means you can you can find cost price hundred percent and you can find selling price one sixty percent. So statement two alone also sufficient to answer the question. Here logical approach is ma major thing. You don't have to do the entire whole equation. So statement one or two alone is sufficient to answer the question. So option C is correct. So again I'm telling you. you need to aware of all these theoretical approaches before doing any type of these problems next in a potato rice 20% potatoes are placed in a line of an interval of 4 meters with the first potato 24 meters from the starting point a contestant is required to bring the potatoes back to the starting place one at a time how far would he run bringing back all the potatoes okay just look at it guys for example this is the starting point a You need to travel 24 meters at start. And you need to pick the potato and come to the starting point. So overall, he traveled 24 in one side, 24 in the second side. So total distance traveled is 48. And the second potato is at 4 meters away from the first one. So total he has to travel 28 and get back by 28. So 28 plus 28, 56. So every time he is increasing 8 meters, right? Because this four will be added, so add plus eight so that sixty-four and so on. Let us say seventy-two like that. So you have a progression and up to twenty times. How far would he run? Bring back all the potatoes. So in order to complete all these numbers, what is the sum of the all the numbers you have to find? 
So it looks like arithmetic progression, right? So what is the sum of the, all the terms, right? Because we need to cover all the distance, right? So Sn is equal to 1 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into t is the formula. So here n by 2 is nothing but 20 terms, 20 by 2 into 2 into a is nothing but 48 plus n minus 1 is nothing but 19 into d is nothing but difference between the its and numbers that is 8. So which is equal to 10 into here 96 plus 80 plus 72 answer is 152. So which is nothing but 248 into 10 is nothing but 0. So 2480 is the total distance traveled by the person to come in the quadratic space. So this is how you have to use the series and progression formulas while you are giving this type of application problems. Just look into the next problem. What is the market price of an article? So the statement is given alone sufficient or not will be fixed. The selling price of an article is 500. So if the selling price of an article is given, we can't find market price directly, right? So statement one alone is not sufficient. Next statement two, selling price after offering 5% discount on the market price is 665 rupees. So the selling price is given 5% discount we have, so it is 95%. Can you find market price or not? Yes, we can find market price, why? Because Market price is 100%, and if you are in 5% discount, the selling price will be 95. So, easily we can find. So, statement 2 is alone sufficient. And again, I'm telling you, you don't have to follow the answer. Just you need to identify can you find or not. Next, market price of an article is 40% above the cost price. We don't know the cost price. How can we find the market price? So, statement 3 alone is not sufficient. So, statement 2 alone is sufficient. So only two is sufficient to answer the question. Option B is correct. So that's it for this video. And again, I'm telling you top three commenters on this video to get the free access to our newly launched Scribinista Prime. So don't miss this opportunity. Comment your doubts and your feedback and suggestions in the comments so that we'll pick the top three commenters. Last but not least, all the companies coming soon. So I'll always suggest you guys get the information quickly. So we'll always suggest the students to follow our Instagram handle that is 2023. If you are a 2023, follow 2023 Instagram page or 2022, 2024, follow the corresponding year pages so that you will get the year specific notifications of different companies. Don't follow common pages, why? Because you may get confused, but we have sorted every year price Instagram pages so that you will get appropriate your notification for your corresponding year. And if you want to reach us for the doubts and any queries, you can reach us through Discord, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram. You will get all the information related to every company. Last but not least, I would like to tell you guys how to prepare for TCS NQT. So try to visit our Prepinsta Prime website so that you don't have to run anywhere to prepare anything. You can prepare everything in a single website that is prepinstaprime.com just look at here we are providing tcs nano degree certification which is very useful for your resume building and if you see the popular skills like artificial intelligence cyber security ethical hacking cloud computing and big data and lot more deep learning all these things we have included in a structured way with advanced level concepts and if you want to learn any basic programming language like c c plus plus java python we have a dedicated courses which are included in a single subscription and as you know for the tcs it's very mandatory to know any one of the language so that you can easily crack the coding round and if you want to prepare for aptitude logical reasoning verbal data interpretation visual reasoning now it's become most important thing in your tcs and data interpretation of the one of the most important we have a dedicated course for this. And we have platform specific courses like HackerRank, Metal, HackerEarth, and AMCAT, CoQs. We have everything here. Or if you want to prepare for company specific, we have company specific courses like C, TCS ITP, full on course for 2023, and TCS NQT Ninja, Digital, Cognizant, Gen C, and everything is there in a single platform. And if you want to prepare for your interviews, 
so TCS, Intri Experiences, InfiTQ, Infosys, Deloitte, all will be here. And if you want to improve your interviews, and we have interview experiences from the previous year, people, so that you can able to know which type of questions they're asking in your interviews. And if you want to build your resume, we have a resume course also. So all this comes under single subscription. And I would like to show you the price also. So I'm just logging out from the website so that you can able to see what are the prices we are offering all these for a single subscription that is for three months it is two triple nine for six months it is three triple nine for 12 months it is four triple nine and if you are from third year or second year i'll always suggest to go with 18 months and 24 months and 36 months which is of five four double nine five triple nine and six four double nine so that you can able to prepare a lot of number of courses for your future preparation of different companies and that's it for this today's video. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye-bye. We have a tailored course on how to crack any exam of TCS, be it the TCS NQT or the Ninja, Digital or even the Code Vita. And the best thing is we cover each and every minor topic that could be asked, be it aptitude, reasoning, verbal, or coding, or data interpretation. We got it all covered. Talking about aptitude, we start with a, a basic topic as number system as well as we cover complex topics such as elementary statistics which is a new addition to TCS and is very important and even data interpretation. In the verbal section, we teach students on how to ace the comprehension part and also we make them know the very basics of English grammar which is necessary to crack the verbal section of TCS. The coding section also contains the required logic of programming like DSA, trees, graphs, as well as you offer the programs which are frequently asked in the exam in our top 100 coding questions. Students can revise what they have learned using the prep insta mock assignments and tests which are also a part of the course. When we say prime, we do intend to give the prime experience for all our students. We offer complimentary life classes, mock quizzes, and we cover every aspect of the TCS interview, be it the HR interview or the technical interview. It is a complete all-in-one package. Student can also check the interview experience section, which offers real-time interview experiences of freshers who have cracked the TCS interview and exams from the first and experience. We have material which crosses 175 plus hours of learning just for TCS. So what are you waiting for? Get the prime experience today.